one of several spots the Tide will try to replace as the 116th season of Alabama Crimson Tide football is now underway. Williams on the return across the 25 near the 28-yard line. Michael Williams, tight end whose name we will call quite a bit. Second and five, Colin Peake, the H-back, joining Richardson in the backfield as the Tide goes on play action and wide open again. Jones a little lot of cushion, even with a couple of defensive backs there, Tyler. Plenty of room for number eight. Also probably anticipating Alabama running the football early. You see here the San Jose defender is already out of the picture when the complete never saw him. Three plays, three completions. Julio Jones. A little Wildcat look here with Richardson set to take the snap. And he will keep it himself, and he will make one man miss and then find that first down mark. An impressive start to this Alabama drive as the Crimson Tide goes on play action. McElroy looking up top, looking for a man. He's got him. It will be Colin Peake. Excuse me. <laughs> Colin Peake's replacement, or one of them, I should say, Preston Dial making the catch, and that'll be enough for another Alabama first down. He will not be one of the first names you mentioned when you talk about the offense, but he will be important. The first name He's already had three or four catches. He gets his first carry. So the Spartan defense able to make the stop at the five. But again, first and goal for Alabama. Dial the H back, running interference. Richardson makes a couple of guys miss. Just buys his time and finds the end zone for an Alabama touchdown. A lot of new faces on the Alabama defense, but guys that Played a lot of snaps a year ago, and Rutley off the left side, finding a lot of running room. You got a flag coming in behind the play as Mark Barron will make the stop. I won't say made him miss, but broke First through a foul. tackle. Rasmus the face mask on the defense. Penalty 15 yards from the end of the run. First down. As Lasekla and the Spartans are in Alabama territory, they swing it out. And a nice catch made by Noel Grigsby. As on the stop was Dre Kirkpatrick in again, Tyler. You got to like the play calling as the Tides face with second down or facing a second and four from the Spartans as on the carry will be Lamont Muldrow. And he'll pick up a couple of yards and actually the extra effort will get him to that first down mark. Sunnyvale, California is where he spent much of his life. Officially listed as the hometown, a 31-yard try. And the kick is up. And the kick is good. So the Spartans, after watching Alabama march right down the field, do the same to Alabama. A little bit different, not quite as quick, but not quite as elusive. McElroy dumping it off, and there's Richardson. Can make people miss. <laughs> then he can pull people forward for plenty of yardage to get an Alabama first down. That's across the 35, around the 38. That's the key. Ingram and Richardson were able to deliver when the lights started shining brightly. They have only got the yard on the first carry, makes up for it on try number two as he's going to be close to another Alabama first down. I think it's going to be interesting to see how it kind of plays out. They will find a fit and find what these backs do well. Richardson keeping the legs churning as he gets into San Jose State territory. And Alabama with another first down. Really forcing the San Jose State defense to wonder what's coming at them. Play action. McElroy looking deep, but he's got an arm. Mark Bruce Mays wide open. Makes the catch. Touchdown, Alabama. They made it look simple. McElroy to Mays, 48 yards, and Alabama's lead is now at 13 to 3. We call Kerry Murphy's name a lot this year as well for Alabama. Joining him on that interior defensive Friday as the pass is going to be broken up and picked off. Alabama with the pick and able to get good return yardage. Robert Lester. The opening quarter has been kind to Alabama, but faced with third and long, McElroy having to step up, and that's a good decision. Give it to number three and let him run with the football, and he's able to get the first down and more, barreling his way near the goal line. He'll be brought down at the two. And Richardson getting it down inside the five, and Eddie Lacy will check in to replace him. Williams in motion. It'll be Lacey who gets the call. And he is up in it, loses the football, and San Jose State is going to recover it. That'll be a touchback, and the Spartans will take over at their own 20. Harrison Wade on to punt once again with Julio Jones, the return man. This looks so different without Javier back, but not a bad replacement 
in Jones as the ball actually hits the San Jose State man in coverage. And so the ball will be marked dead back around the 46 yard line, including Brandon Gibson, number 11 in the ballgame. He's had a great preseason camp. They'll dump it off to Richardson instead. A couple of guys that probably should have made the tackle and instead of getting him right around the line of scrimmage, Tyler, he's able to pick up another Alabama first yeah. down. The only incompletion that Greg McElroy has thrown either is Richardson. Boy, what a cut back and he's just watching go. Forget about it, folks. Richardson, another touchdown run, and Alabama extends its lead now to 20 to 3. Unless he makes a mistake. Until, that's it, right. It, uh, until something goes wrong. But again, it's it's almost an afterthought that the guy will successfully snap the football as Alabama does a good job in coverage. And ready to return a punt. He'd probably like to have some running room. He may get a chance right here. A high spiraling kick, and he will actually watch this one sail out of bounds. We'll see where they step out. Once again, Alabama with excellent starting field position at the San Jose State 40-yard line. We would have seen McCarron in there for Alabama as the backup. He'll swing it out on the first play to Julio Jones, and he will find his way near the first down mark. They will indeed spot him ahead of that. No, but you can. I can. <laughs> <laughs> McCarron with plenty of time looking for Jones, and oh, what a diving grab for the touchdown. And Alabama leads it now 27 to 3. We spent a lot of time together in different stops. San Jose State 0 for 3 on third down tries thus far, but we'll update those numbers to 1 for 4 as they swing it out, pick up all they need for the first down, and a little bit more as Chandler Jones, the wideout, two deep men for Alabama, Darius Hanks joining. Julio Jones saw this a good bit last year when people would try to kick it away from Javier Arenas and even with the second deep man there not able to get the hands of a in the uh, ball into the hands of a return man because the kick sails out of bounds the tide will have possession as Brandon Rutley is the return man nice high spiraling kick that Rutley will watch take an Alabama bounce down to the 20. Julio Jones fielding it there. The guy's all over the place. All right at six minutes to go, I should say. In this second quarter, trailing Alabama 28 to 3. Lasekla, one of the rare times with time. And he's able to find a man with a lot of running room. That's Noel Grigsby. Very little breeze, less than 10 miles per hour. And you're now down in a fully enclosed bowl of a stadium. It's not much of a factor anyway, as that one is up. Does he have enough? He does, but it's wide right. As we'll see Cody Mandel punt for the second time. Another beautiful, high, booming, spiraling kick that sends Mandel all the way back to the 24-yard line. A fair catch made right there. Mandel awfully impressive. Wait on to punt once again with Hanks and Jones, your deep men. Another nice punt from Wade, a high spiraling kick, and Julio Jones will have a chance to field it, but he can't do anything with it. McElroy with nobody to throw to. He will tuck it, run, and wisely finds a patch of grass not occupied by a spark and fall down. Pull one from the gun with Ty finding him. Across the middle. That's a great job of making one man miss. A second, third, or fourth actually bring him down. They will not take time to review this one. Instead, just second and ten for Alabama with under 30 seconds to go. Another drag for Hanks, and again makes a man miss, but he'll be brought down shy of the first down marker. So Alabama's going to have to use a timeout. Their second, only the head man determines which is which, though, and whether or not we see number 43 or number 90 trot out there to try a field goal if we get into that situation. Right now, third and a foot for McElroy and company. The clock ticking around 10 seconds. He'll get the first down, which will be enough to move the chains. That'll allow them to get to the line of scrimmage and spike it. The snap from Carson Tinker and Foster, who's handled the kickoffs, will try his first field goal in an Alabama uniform. The strong left, you see. 
And as the first half comes to a close, Alabama tacks on three more. Almost perfect first half from the Crimson Tide. 31 to three, Alabama with the lead over San Jose State at intermission. The crowd likes it. We'll find out momentarily if head coach Nick Saban likes it as he joins our Barry Krause down on the field. I will say this, even though they're only one of seven on third downs, he has not thrown an interception as of yet, Tyler, and that type of decision making is something they were hoping they would see improvement in from a year ago as they pick up good yardage on first down, swinging that one out. So Julio Jones had been returning kicks, and now it'll be Darius Hanks who waits and will field this one back inside the 10. That's the reason when the ball goes back inside the 10, you let it go. But the first time he has returned to punt in 2010, a mental mistake. I can't put any pressure on this. I need to get some ice on it immediately. First carry of the night for Demetrius Good. And great to see him get an opportunity early in this third quarter. You also heard him right before half. We want someone who's going to do it the right way. We're going to give somebody an opportunity. And Demetrius Good, who has been slowed by injuries throughout a good bit of his Alabama career, showing early on as though he wants to take full advantage of that opportunity. His first time to touch the football in 2010. McElroy unloads it to Julio Jones, and he makes a nice grab in traffic near midfield. Now, as Eddie Lacy's going to check back in now, and on play action, McElroy rolling the pocket with time. There's Mays, and Marquise Mays. Got the first down a little bit more. And again, with his speed, he's already had the 48-yard touchdown catch. Second and a dozen for the Tide as McElroy works from the pistol formation. There's Lacey finding running room, finding a first down, and finding nobody in front of him. Touchdown, Alabama, Eddie Lacey with the 37-yard touchdown run to the Crimson Tide adds to its lead. Alabama now on top, 37-3. Yeah, you're down 38-3, but you can't afford to risk turning it over inside your own 30-yard oh, no, line. No, 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 absolutely. I mean, this is about playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. Hanks initially getting away from that one. You talk about hidden yardage in the course of a football game. Seven carries, 53 yards, not a bad average, but again, the bulk of that coming on his touchdown run covering, I believe, 37 yards a few moments ago. Brad Smelly making the catch. That's another guy that is in that H-back role. And let me give you a little inside. If you're, if you're not good, you're not getting out on the field here at Alabama. <laughs> McCarron finding Hanks. Both of those guys pretty good. Hanks on the receiving end of the great throw, and Alabama's got another first and ten inside the Spartans 30. Teammate of Mark Barron's is Lacey off the left side. Makes a man miss. Makes another guy. Wish he hadn't gotten in the way. Well, Kate Foster got an opportunity after making a long field goal at the end of the half to make an extra point. He did that successfully. Now he's going to try a short field goal. Snap and spot are good. The kick is up. And that one gets inside the upright as well. Third down upcoming for the Spartans. The central going with play action. The heavy pressure. And he'll be brought down. Sacked. Back around the 22-yard line, Lester and Darrington Cinnamore there to combine on the stop. And we'll see the third different punt returner tonight for Alabama. It's Marquise Mays, the junior, set to bring this one back out of Terran High School in Birmingham. Another kick from Wade, a low one that Mays will field on the hop. Lost it, and it may have been called for double dribble before he kicked it out of bounds. McCarron back in there. He's 5 of 8 for the night, 86 yards and a touchdown. It's Lacey again on the carry. Trying to find some running room and riding a wave of blockers along the left side. Senior out of Homewood. Lacey running along the right side again, making a couple of guys miss and then churning for more yardage down around the 35. Thank you, Barry. And I would think a lot of, if not all of the first string offensive line guys are out now for the night as McCarron on second and nine looks, finds Gibson once again. Alabama trying to add to its 41-3 lead right up the middle for the freshman out of Louisiana, picking up good yardage and refusing to go down. 
this goes back to talking about the, the building of the facilities and putting Alabama back in the national forefront in terms of the quality of its facilities. It goes back quite a few years. Uh, that alone uh, made it worth everything that we did uh, and, and building these facilities. Good players, I know, coming in to see this recruit, such as Eddie Lacy, when they see the, the work that's being done as the south end zone was, uh, was being built, another Alabama touchdown. It's all part of Coach Saban's process, and I know that having, as you said, a lot of that in place already helped him do what he wanted to do here. Uh, let the crowd die down or the traffic, watch games. But it, it, it sold out in two weeks. I was really nervous about it, but uh, it went over period there. And then above that is the zone and the south and the two levels of club. The quarterback receivers have done a good job. Defensively, guys just got to get older quicker, don't they? They will. <laughs> they, they're, uh, they're good, good. I just uh, thrilled we're, we're getting to play a lot of young players. There's one other, Demetrius Good, who's battled injuries, as we said earlier, through a lot of his career and getting some opportunities tonight and faring well. Alabama Appreciate Director of Athletics, Mal Moore, the man who had the vision to, to raise the funds at a low point in Alabama football and help turn this into truly a showplace on the Alabama campus and one of the best in the nation. Our thanks to Coach Moore for spending time with us. And, and, and here's another point I think that needs to be made right now as Alabama continues to run their offense. They're throwing the football, they're running the football, they're doing it with some younger guys. Left tackle slot to the bottom of your picture. As McCarron looks right, again connects with Brandon Gibson. The third grab that Gibson has made tonight. So very methodical in their approach, face with third and short. Goo tripped up, but not before. He's able to stretch inside the 40 to about the 39. That'll be enough to move the chains again. Cleaner, neater. Drag your fingernails across. It doesn't hurt nearly as bad. Goo driven back. That's a nice play by the Spartans. And the first guy to greet him, Vincent Abbott, a defensive end. One of those that Nick Saban has been able to take out of the bayou and bring them to sweet home Alabama. As that punt, not the best of efforts tonight for the Crimson Tide. Remember Nico Johnson, not Nico Johnson, uh, D'Amico Rines. He used to have hard hands too. He's doing pretty well today. I think he is. But I'm telling you, still intense. Somebody needs to tell him and say, hey, Look up at the scoreboard. It's 48 to three, but let me tell you this, Nick Saban, still intense. He demands the most out of this football team. Barry, would you like to volunteer to tell him to take a look at the scoreboard? Yeah, sure. <laughs> we got the chance to see that one from our high end zone shot as he just read the quarterback and was able to, to make a play on that football and break it up. Some positive yardage there as a flag comes in late. A little frustration perhaps showing. After the play is over, personal foul. Number 78 on the offense. Penalty's 15 yards. Third down. Or I should say they are back to getting the best that the state of Alabama has to offer. But the Tide is once again recruiting nationally in a big, big way. Harrison Wade's had some good moments tonight kicking the football for San Jose State. Demetrius Goode's been around for a while, but hasn't had many opportunities. He's running the football like he has tonight. He'll get more. A great carry there after the initial contact. But as the game has progressed, you saw fewer and fewer. Fewer and fewer defensive guys out of play, out of, out of position. So even that short time period, they took the coaching on the sideline, made the adjustments, and went out and, and got better. But that's a little thing. That's a little thing that later on could be the difference. Could indeed. Doesn't factor into the outcome tonight. But Nick Saban making sure the quarterback understands. He's got the situation for next time. Taking care of that teaching point right now. And now the head coaches will find their way through the maze of players. Mike McIntyre will win a lot of games, in my opinion, at San Jose State. But he ran up against maybe the best team in America. The season will play out and will determine that but the preseason number one took care of business here this evening.
Head coach Nick Saban joining our Barry Krause momentarily as the Tide is indeed 1-0 on the season after the 48-3 victory. Barry? Thoughts on the game today? Well, we got to play a lot of players. You know, I was pleased with the sort of enthusiasm, the intensity that we played with. There was good toughness in the game. Obviously, it's a starting point for us to improve from, but you know, I, I, I like the toughness. I like the effort. I like the attitude that we competed with. You know, I think we got some weapons on offense. We got to use them. It'd be great to get Mark back, but you know, we got to do some improving on defense when we play against better offensive teams. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Barry. Looked awfully nice tonight. They don't give you rings, though, for winning in week number one, but it's a nice start. Alabama claiming its 25th consecutive regular season victory. For Tyler Watson, Barry Krause, I'm Chris Stewart saying thanks for joining us as Alabama defeats San Jose State 48-3. Stay tuned for more great sports on CSS. And good night on Crimson Tide Pay-Per-View.